Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique All Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. This is part two of the Leviathan box, which is the Space Marine side now. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. So, as you saw, it went up yesterday, uh, I say yesterday, should, this should go up today, so what well, went up yesterday, or the last video, should I say, was the Tyranid, all the Tyranids from that side of the box. I think the only one I didn't do was the Ripper Swarm, which is just, it's, it's, it, they're easier than nobody to do, so it's, it's very simple. But today's the Space Marine side. So, tools needed as usual. Mold nice paper. You can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade. If you use a uh, blade at all, just be careful because it's sharp and every people, anyone else in the house know you're using it, so nobody scares you by accident. Clippers, most useful part of our kit. Now I have sanding sponge and sanding block, which is basically a sponge with sandpaper around the side. You can get that from the hardware shop near the sandpaper or the wallpaper, somewhere in that sort of area. It's a plastic kit, so plastic glue. I do have super glue at hand, just in case, but probably not gonna need it at all. So, this is the first guy. We're gonna ascertain what, what's what on the sprue, just for everyone that's new. Body, body, other side of the body, arm, this is a little head, shoulder pauldrons, Sword on, look at that detail on that sword. That is absolutely amazing. His leg pieces and his base. There's the end of his storm bomber. So, first pieces that we need are number 14, which is this, uh, number 13, and number 12. So, basically, these three pieces here. So, I'm going to stiff them off, clean them down, and show you how they go together. Yeah, so this is a weird one. So this piece is number 13. This goes in there like so. Okay. Now this piece is a big hole there and there's a pin in the middle there. That goes over the top. Now I did put glue in there to hold that in there because I'm a sneaky like that. Go. Put a little bit of a fiddle around, but you get it in there. So we actually put a fifty percent on him on him already done with three pieces, which is insane. Again, to these little bits of sprue here. Don't worry about those too much. Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit horrible. I clipped that one off. But I wouldn't worry about that one too much because the arms going on. So you're not going to see any of that. So the next piece needed. Straight into action, actually. Uh, number 16, which is his sword arm, and number 15, which is his clear pauldron. We know this one has the uh, terminate stuff on it. This is a clear one, so just these two. I'm going to stiff and clean them, show you how they go on. That's another one of those over the top ones. So, sword arm goes on there. There's no particular way, I don't think, so it goes on because it doesn't show me the little widgets that go together. And this guy has a pin, a hole, and obviously then there's the pin. Okay. Now any of you, all my regulars will know with the primary and the tenants with their pins, I had so much problems trying to get them in, but this looks pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna glue that into place and we'll come back for the next piece. The next bit is number 18, which is a stonewall piece. And 19, which is storm bottle arm, snip clean. I'll show you how to go together. And there's a hole, there's a pin, it just goes across the top there. So let's go in. Like so. Nice and easy. The next piece that we need 
is number 17. Which is our soldier, soldier pauldron. So I'm going to slip that off, bring it down, and I'll show you how that goes on. Right, it's no doubt some of you would have put the sword arm on, be fiddling around trying to get it to stick it, stick it into everything else. I should have showed you the sneaky way of doing it. So what you do is you put some glue on the outside of that one. Yeah? What are you doing there? Because the two of these go together and they go on the arm. So what you do is you put this over there. So you need I don't want to do it now, there we go. So you need the hole shown. Yeah? And then the two are stuck. Put a bit of glue on there. We'll run a bit along here. Now, there we go. This is you know, nice and easy. Right, the next thing we need is 21, 22, okay. Now 21 is this side of his body, 22 is that side of his body, it's very straightforward. His head, number 20, there's only one place I can go. Um, there's little pins on each of these. And as, you, as you've seen, his shins have the holes. And his feet can only go one way. Okay, but if you if you do get confused, one of these is blank, the other one has um, all this detail on it. This detail is this side. Okay, so I'm going to snip those three pieces off, clean them down, glue them into place, because his head as well has a little hole on it. And there's a pin, there's a pin for it to go into there. So I'm going to snip those three down, glue them, glue them in, and then come back and show you his base. And of course I dropped the head. Don't worry, I found it again. I found this little thing again, but just be careful guys when you're when you're Oof. <laughs> that was a squeaky bomb time. So the last piece on his sprue is his base. He has a 50 mil base. So I'm gonna snip this off, give this a rough clean down, and just let me show you how it goes on. There's two pins. Okay, they go in two holes. I'll put that on and I'll show you how the man goes on. I, I just the captain goes on. First thing I want to show you, first hang on. I'll detail that. that. Looks like a swimming killer. Dead one. It's amazing anyway. As you can see, there's two holes. There's two footmarks. It's that simple. So he just slides straight into there. You might have to jiggle it around a little bit. Now you, what you could do here is to snip these two pins off because you've got his feet impressions and goes feet straight in. Okay. Try and leave the pins on. If you're having difficulty getting them in, then just snip the pins off and just put them straight on. Okay. Here he is. Absolutely fantastic. It's an amazing sculpt. Again, this is one of those models where you, you see all the, the imagery of it and everything else. You go, oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Oh, uh, well, you actually have it in your hand and go, well, hmm. That is something a bit special. But anyway, on to the next Marines. Right, so now we're going to build the Stone Guard Veteran Squad. Um, there's only five guys in this squad, but we're looking at the sprue. So on this sprue, which has the uh, biologist guy on there and the promised lieutenant. I can tell by his blade from the imagery and his half, his 200 cal face across his arm. Anyway, so the first pieces we need in, on this one, number 23, number 21, which is his head, and number 22, which is this guy. Bit here, so I'm going to snip these three pieces off, clean them down, I'll show you how they go together. Right, so it's very straightforward. So we take 22, which is the back piece, we just drop a bit of glue there in that top hole, and 
we take his head, here's the funny little pin on it, it just slides in there like so, yeah, and then this funny hole here, and just run along the edges. So we missed out then along this edge as well because I just didn't realise the legs were on there as well, which was done. That just pops in there like so. Right, so the next piece we need is 25. Which is this piece here, so we've just taken those three, so we need that one there. And then there is a little flappy bit coming off of it, so you need to keep that onto it, that's part of it. And number 24 is what we need, okay? So I'm going to stick those two pieces off, clean them down, and show you how they go on. Alright, so first of all, this hole here, drop us some glue in there. Don't worry, I'm not piling it in there. There's very little left in there. I'm trying to use the last of it out of it. I've no one in the house, but anyway. So this one has a pin and a hole. And it goes straight in there. I'm going to say to you, when you're putting the glue in the hole, you might be a bit off putting on the shield actually, but if you're putting it in the hole like I did, just be careful you don't want to get any on that detail there because it just fade it away. Now, the other arm. So the first arm, there's nothing, there's a very little in there, just trying to squeeze the last bit out, maybe this is a tiny little drip, there we go, this is number 24, and it just pins on, I always have problems with these pins. That's the problem I always have with them. There we go. And you got it in. So the next piece that I need is number 26, which is this lovely piece. So we're basically taking everything from here so far. So we need 26 and 27, which is this backpack with a lovely little um, terminator for the veteran cross thing on top. I'm going to slip those two off, clean them down, and show you how they go on. It's, it's a bit self explanatory, but I'll still show you anyway. Right, so I'll start with the gun arm, which is number 26. Again, there's a hole in there, put some glue in, as you can see, and there's a rod. This always annoys me, these things. I just have to put this But that's why you keep that little thing on there. But it needs to be on there. Just drop a little glue onto that, actually. Looking nice, looking sharp. And the backpack has a pin. There's a hole in his back. Just that's as simple as that. I'm going to glue it into place. And so space brings on a fade to your base, so it's test going to place as normal. Absolutely fantastic. Now what I did, you got the guide at the front. But if if you do have models sitting in front of you, it's a uh, warp town, chaos space warp town. He's also on the fade to your base. Just go straight up. Yeah. Because all the bases come in the same bag, if you're not sure, a term goes on a 28 mil base. There's not much of a difference, but you can see his base, term goes base, Swiss has Marines base. So that's how you, you'd easily tell the difference then. So, now on to the next guy. The next guy is 
28, 29 and 30. So there's 29. There's 30, there's 28. Okay, so I'm going to snip those three pieces off. They go together the same way as the first guy did, as in the head goes through the top hole. Yeah, so I'm going to snip those off, glue those together, because I've shown you that on the first guy, on, on the sergeant. And then I'll come back and show you the next pieces. So the next two bits are 31 and 32. So I'm going to snip those, clean those, and show you how they go on. Right, this is very straightforward. So the leg just goes in there, there, and the arm goes obviously up here. So we're going to glue those into place, come back for the next piece. Right, so the last two pieces for this guy, number 33 and 34. Now I don't mean to show you where the backpack goes because it's pretty straightforward, as you know already. But his gun, there's two slot holes in it. So there's two slot holes and this arm piece here, yeah. So there's there's the first slot hole. There's a, there's the second so it's the first pin and second pin, and that weird little shape then goes in there. So you can see it's a little weird shape. So again, I don't show you how to do that, because it's just it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna snip those off, clean those down, and just put those on the model and put the model on a 32 mil base. I'm going to come back to you then for the third guy. I wasn't going to show you any more but of these guys, but the third guy's done a little bit differently. So I'd have to show you that guy just so you know which way it is. Right, so for the third guy, the pieces need to start with are 42, 43, and 44. This is, this is why I've changed ones a little bit different. So I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, and show you how they go together. Okay, so this first piece number 43 goes to number 42 but you see the top piece there top hole goes in like that so I'm going to glue that into place and then come back to the next piece right, and then number 44 which is a leg so there's a hole there there's a pin just slots in like that Okay, I'm going to glue that into place. Right, so the next two pieces we need are 41, which is the head, and number 45, which is the chest piece. So I'm going to slip those off, clean those down, and show you how they go on. Right, so the head, number 41, goes in first, and it goes in exactly the same way. So it goes in the top there. Yeah, if I can get that in with my giant fingers, you can get that in. It's very easy, very straightforward. Now the chest piece, let me just check some glue on that edge actually. It's almost dead, this glue. Squeeze the last bit of it out. Right, so the chest piece, you can see there's a, big, there's a hole there. There's a pin, and you can see with the chest piece the way it was meant to go. It just goes over the top, like that. Now we have near enough enough a marine, and he's got some amazing detail on his face. Look at that barley guy. I don't know if he's body hair. He said, "I talk anything." Anyway, the last two pieces we need for this bad boy. Is number 46, which is this arm here, number 47, which is this arm here, and he has the backpack 48. So he's basically this side of the screw. So I'm going to snip all those three pieces off. I don't need to show you how they go on because they're self explanatory. Pin hole, gun mounts up, backpack goes on the back. So I'm going to get those off, clean those down, glue those on, and I'll have a look at the next guy. I said three down, two to go. The next member of the squad is all in this corner here, yeah? And it's the same way. So he is uh, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and the backpack is 40. 
all this corner. But he goes the same way as the first two do, the bit together, okay? Um, but the last guy has a heavy weapon, it's a little bit different, so I, I'll show him, but I'm gonna build this guy off camera first, and I'll show you the, the last guy for the squad that has the heavy weapon. Yes, for the last guy, you need 51. So you've taken every place at this side, yeah? So you need 51, which is then in the bottom corner, 50, so it's these two pieces, and 49, which is the head to start with. So we're going to sit those up, clean those down, and I'll come back to you again. In terms of getting to this stage, with the three parts we've just taken off, it's the same as the other guys. The head goes in the top pin, in the top, the head pin goes in the top hole, and then the front goes onto the back. This obviously connects here. So the next piece that's needed is 52 which is this leg here. So I'm going to snip it, clean it, and show you how it goes on. Right, so I've put a bit of glue in there. There's a hole. And there's a pin. And again, the grenade packs and all that match up. There's only one way you can go in. There we go. There's that piece. The next piece needed is 53, which is this arm, you know, self explanatory how it goes on. And so, you know, we'll leave that piece for a minute. We need 55, which is this piece here, yeah, and 54, which is the piece right next to it. So, I'm going to snip these two pieces off, clean them down, show you how they go together, and then obviously the arm goes on one side, and 53 is the other arm to go the other side. So, I'm actually going to take those three pieces off, clean them all down, show you how to get these two together, then put both arms on, connect them together. As so you see the backpack, this is backpack, connects into the wires. So, anyway, I'm actually doing it. Anyway, so this piece here, number 55, you can see where it goes, there's a hole, there's a pin, you can see I already put glue on it because it's just that straightforward. That goes in there, like so, just together. Now there was a horrible join line there, which I was running with plastic glue over. The gun barrels all drilled out. That's, that's that's the way I like them. They should just do it like that anyway. And the, this plastic glue is just. I might have to give in and get the other one up. Hopefully, I can get this guy done. Come back to you in a, in a minute. And before I put the arms on, and before you put the arms on, take the backpack off. That's number 56. Now, it's all push fit, so when you push this in and the arm in, this should line up to the pipework on the gun. But we have to just presume it won't. So I'm going to snip this off, clean this down. So when I glue the arms in, which I don't need to show you because it's, it's very self explanatory where the arms go. Okay, one each side. Really this this little pin here sits into the hand on top of the holding the, the top of the gun. But when I glue them on, and then I'm going to glue this on afterwards. So it should all line up. If it doesn't, I've got then got a bit of playtime to jiggle around with it. So I'm going to clip this, clean it. I'm going to glue all three of those bits on. So we know where the backpack goes. We know where the arms go on. Just line these wires up. I'll come back to you when I've done that. And guess what? It lines up perfectly. It's a fair play to GW. Now it's push fit. So I'll remove all that a little bit there. So I'll drop a bit of plastic glue on that just to smooth it up a little bit. And yes, there is the tiniest little amount there for that. I do have to go and get the other one. The uh, new, well, it's not a new one. I've been using it in the house to do stuff off, off camera. But yeah, but things like that. So the Mold line going through his leg there. Don't panic too much about that, guys, because when it's all dry, you can come back in and give that little clean down, little detail clean down. The basic model is dry. So, what I do is, like, glue the model there. So, there's that little line that I can see on his shin, 
and just his hand here where he's holding the handle looks a bit rough on top of that barrel as well here's a little drawn line to see that so before I undercoat it I'll go along and just check check each model and just do that sort of thing so there's any bits I've missed and that's what I do then before I spray it down because it's not in the end of the world if it means I have to just do that cast that mold line the not mold line the uh, join line which I'll probably do now anyway then I'll do that and leave it for another day and then and then uh, gravel or undercoat it or some business but that's them guys done I'm very impressed with them actually actually pretty really straightforward and easy to put together some nice big chunky boys anyway let's move on to the next guy now right so still on the same sprue we're going to build the Lieutenant in Phobos armor. The first two pieces that we need are number 13 and number 14. You're going to say, where's number 13 here? It's not there. I opened the box and mine was loose in the box. So, 13 and 14. So I'm going to clip this one off and clean them both down and show you how they go together. Right, so like the other Marines, this little head with this little pin, this little hook. So the other shaped pin goes in the top hole. This gave me a problem. There we go. Nice and easy. Now, if you get it sort of lined up but you can't get it in, you have to lose your probably knife to push it in. It's probably tall. The next piece needed is number 15, which is. they've messed it up oh no they haven't sorry my, my apologies number 15 which is this one here so the head was here so you take this piece the next piece and snip it off clean it out and show you how it goes on it's pretty straightforward there's a hole in the middle there's a pin on that one it just goes in there like so nice and easy and then there's a horrible join line so I just I'm not even squeezing this one because this one is a full pot. Just a few casting lines that I missed. Along the leg there. So the next piece that we need is number 16. Which is the piece I was looking at first of all thinking no that's the wrong piece. But number 16 is what we need next which is this one here. So the head was here. So okay. I'm gonna slip it down, clean it, and show you how it goes on. So pin the leg, hole in the leg, it goes in like so. Okay, very straightforward, very easy. Make sure the backpack lines up and everything else. I can see a horrible casting line in the leg. So I'm saving myself any sort of Messing around later on. The plastic don't look like that. Right, so the next piece needed is number 17, which should be this piece here, the blade. I'm going to slip that off, clean that down, and that goes in this side. Yeah, so I'm going to, I don't need to show you that gluing in, I'm going to slip down, clean down, and glue it in. Go on to you for the next one. Right, so the next two pieces we need are number 19, which is his backpack. I know you show you that going on because we all know where that goes. And number 18, which is our arm. Again, I don't need to show you that going on because it's arm and backpack. And that's his base. Okay. Number 20. So I'm going to slip all three of these off, clean these all down, glue these two on, and then glue this to the base and then show you how, the, how he goes into it. So he's on a 40 mil base, okay? You can, you can see there's two holes and two pins. The pins go into the hexagon slots, even though they're actually not a hexagon, they're actually round, which is bonkers. But they go into there, so I'm gonna glue that on, and then I'm gonna show you how he goes into the base. Right, so on the base, there's one slot there, one foot, 
there's another slot there for another foot, but that's the front of his foot. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drip some glue into there. Into a little slot. On top of the foot. They come along. Just push them in. This is one of those models where you have to be very careful because every little bit. There we go. Now, I already bent these antennae, so I should straighten that back out again. So be careful of that. Be careful of this blade. Be careful of any little blade on the foot here because there is so many little uh, bits that you can end, end up damaging by mistake. So I'm going to just drop it onto there. So he's done now. It's actually a brilliant build. So now I'm going to move on to the next unit. Right, let's start with the Terminators. Absolutely. Oof. Right, so we need number one and number two. I believe they're going to be on this sprue. Yeah, of course they are, because this, this is all the side of the sprue by the looks of it. There's another marine with him. So there's number two. Okay, so let's just get this sprue off. So we need number two and number one. We're going to snip them, clean them, and show you how they go together. Right, this is very straightforward. So the big pin in the middle, yeah, goes on into the middle there. Just slots together. He won't go in. So the simple answer for that is what we do. We take a, a clipper. Snip a little bit off the end. So what that is, is there's too much air. There we go. Too much air going into it as well, and it won't come out. So we get that little dab just to get rid of that. A little drawing line there. And so the next piece needed is number three, which is these leg pieces. Be careful of that piece there when you're cleaning your tank because it's not attached to anything. I'm going to snip it, clean it, and show you how it goes on. It's very easy. There's two pins on his leg pieces there. There's two holes there. As you can see, I already put glue in because it's that simple. It goes in an angle. Slips in. You hear a little th that's the air put being pushed out of the, of the hole as I'm pushing the pin in. So now we have the basics of a Space Marine Terminator. The next piece needed is in fact not on this sprue. Oh, that's interesting. It's probably the other sprue. Yeah, I see on the other sprue. Okay. So we'll go to the next piece then, five and six. There's number five. And where's number six? I think that's another sprue as well. So we need number five. And we, there's number six. Okay, so I'm going to sit those two pieces off, clean them down, show you how they go together. Very straightforward. There's a pin, there's a hole. It goes together. All of the storm bubbles do the same. So when I'm doing the next storm bow, I won't need to show you that because it's all the same, okay? Let's run it along to the any join lines. This arm, let's see, hole, pin, just goes in there, okay, 
Now you might need to trim the pin down a little touch. I'm, I'm going to go for it, and if, it does, if I need to, then just do the same way I just showed you how to do the other pin for the body. It's like doing it nicely, so crack on. Next piece is number four, which is a sword arm. So you just number six from there. So it's a sword arm. Now snip it, clean it, and it goes on the other side. I don't need to show you that, so I'm going to snip it, clean it, glue it in. Right, so the next piece needed is the head. Is either number seven or number eight. Now number seven is an open top head. Number eight is closed. I'm going to go with number eight because I do like that. So snip it, clean it. It's self-explanatory where it goes. There's a hole in there. It has a pin coming from the side. It goes together and then it goes onto a 14 mil base. So I'm going to glue that in, glue into his base, and we'll move on to the next guy. And there we have it. Now you can notice he has the open top head. What's going on? I chopped the, the, the helmet his head. And I said, I'm not going to bother trying to look for it because I've got no head to replace it with. So the next parts needed. I'm not on you, you're on the big sprue. Uh, number eight and number nine. You, where are you guys now? Right, so there's number nine. So we took the sword from that end, so it's opposite end. Number nine, number ten, sorry. Number nine and number ten. I'm sure these two pieces here. Snip them, clean them, they go together the same way as the first guy. So I don't need to show you that. Right, the next two parts needed are 11 and 12. We'll just take in here. So 11 and 12. Now, 11 goes on this side of the model. And 12 goes that side. Now both have holes. Yeah, at specific angles. For them to go in properly. So again, I'm going to show you how they go in because it's very straightforward. I'm going to snip them off, clean them, glue them into place. And the next two pieces we need are 15 and 16. So we've just taken from here, so it's these two pieces. This is a storm bar. I've shown you it, I don't need to show you again. So I'm going to glue it together and glue the arm straight on because it's self explanatory where it goes. Right, so the next two pieces are 13 and 14. Okay, you can see there's a pin there and there's a hole there. And this part, the top part of this, yeah, this bit here, the curvy bit, slots in just, just underneath the uh, circle bit there on the elbow joint. So I'll just show you how that goes on. And then obviously the arm goes on him, and that's the head, number 17. So the head, you know where it goes, and it goes on a foot wheel base. So I'm going to glue those together, glue them all onto the model, glue them to the base, and we'll move on to the next guy then. Right, this next guy is exactly the same as the previous guy. But the parts you need are 19 and 20, yeah, we just took from over this side. So 19 and 20, 21 and 22, 21 being this leg, the 22 being this side. Okay, the storm bolter is 26 and 25, which is exactly, you know, the same way it goes together, it goes on the same side as the other guy. Then we need 23 and 24. Uh, so there's 24. And there's 23. Again, that goes on exactly the same way with a little curvy bit. Just connects his little ball joint on the elbow. And then we have his head, which is 27, which is this piece down here. Okay, so there's all these pieces. Yeah. And this arm piece. So again, exactly the same goes together, exactly the same one I, we just built. So I'm going to do them off camera and then come back for the next guy because the next guy is slightly different. Right, so I actually customised this guy a little bit. Okay, let me show you what he's supposed to look like. Where are we? It's supposed to look like that. Yeah, so I changed the power fist a little bit and lifted the gun up a little bit more. Now with the power fist, how did I do that? Those of you that regulars will know, I hate the little pins that come out. I snipped the pin down a bit, so it actually gave me a chance to um, push push the arm against the marine and change the position of it. As simple as that. Um, so the next piece is needed. Uh, number, not that 
piece. So on the first one, on the little sprue, we need number 30, number 28, and number 29, which is the egg piece. So bear in mind, that's the pin for the leg piece, yeah? So that's where the sprue finishes, that's the pin. So I'm gonna stick all those pieces down, clean them down. These two bits go together the same way as all, as the other ones. So I'm gonna glue them on, not to panic about that. And I'll show you how the leg goes on after that. For a slight change of plan, the leg piece goes in first, it goes in the bottom hole there. Okay, because I just, I just went to dry fit and I realized if I put the body in first, I won't be able to get a leg in. So that goes, glues in there, okay? And then the body goes over the top, so I'm going to glue those bits together and make them the next piece. My right, next piece is needed are 32 and 31. Now it's a bit self explanatory. This foot has a this leg has a foot on it, this one does not. This leg has a foot on it, this one's a shin guard. Okay, so I'm going to glue, clip, clip them, glue them, show them, and put them on, on the model, and I'll show you next pieces. All right, next piece is needed are 25. And 26 which is a storm bubber same as before and then 33 which is this arm and 34 which is the rest of the claw arm again that goes on the same way with that little curve at the top lining up with that little bit there but it's pin and hole okay so i'm going to clip those and clean those and glue those together and his head is number 37 which is on the same sprue so i'm going to glue the head in glue these arm bits together and I'm going to, I might actually customise the power fist arm, but I'll show you how I did that. So this is how I customise it. You can take the clippers and trim that down. The rod, so it gives you a smaller rod. Oh, that's a bloody possibility, you know. And then just put your glue over it. Now you could go to the extreme and take the whole rod off because then you're just sticking it on. So it's supposed to be done like this. If I put it up like that, it shows like that perfect hand inside and fantastic. Now the only thing is it's not as, until the glue dries, it's not as strong because there's no rod inside. There was only a tiny little bit of rod holding this one in. So I put it on the 40 mil base and I come back for the assault terminal. Well, the terminal with the assault cannon, shall I say. So before I build the terminal with the sub cannon, I'm going to take number 50, which is the teleport uh, beaker, home, teleport homer, sorry. I'm going to sip that, sip that off, clean it down, that goes into a 25 mil base. Nice and easy, it's very simple. If I was building this kit um, as an actual kit, box set that came out on its own, that's what I would start with, just to get it done out of the way, so it's off the sprue. But anyway, right, so all these bits that are left on this terminal sprue, are uh, for the last terminal armed with a sub cannon. Now, I'm, I'm going to talk you through it because it's something a bit different. So we start with 41 and 39, okay? But this is another one where number 40, that will go in first and then that connects together. Yeah, so that goes in first into the bottom hole there. And then this piece with the two on it goes in to two holes there. So I'm going to stick those three bees up, clean them down and glue them together and then come back to the next piece. Right, the next two pieces are 42 and 43. Now, as you can see, one has a foot on the bottom, one doesn't. The one with the foot on the bottom goes on this side. The one without the foot is only a foot on the bottom of that one, so it goes on that side. So, you know, the same way as before, so I'm going to simply clean them, clean them down and put them on there. Right, so the next part is the gun. So you need number uh, 47 and number 46, which is the sub cannon. As you can see, there's a pin here. The number 47 has a pin on the other side. Um, sorry. So the basic way that it would go is this bit needs to be facing here. Okay. And apart from that, there's the power fist with the other arm. There's the panels go with the power fist. There's the head. Now this little thing, it's all bullet cases. 
when this goes into a base, there's two slots for the base, two holes, but there's only one pin, one peg. So that one goes in the other peg. Now there are a few more on the other sprue. Yeah, there's a few more on the other sprue, different bits and pieces. I have not, I'm not going to use them because any holes that there is, I think there's only one. Yeah, there's only one on that one. I'll just preview and glue and gravity. It doesn't bother me. So I'm going to glue these guys, these blast bits together. I'm going to put this one on the assault cannon base just because it's blue casings and I think it look fantastic. But, um, I glue them to the base and then we'll move on to the next model. Right, so the next model I'm going to build is the Apothecary Biologus, which is on the same, this big sprue. Yeah, the lieutenant was on here and the terminators were on here. Someone's on this one? No, sorry, not terminators. The um, the stern guard one, this one. So he's all the parts that's left on here after build those two guys. So the first thing we're going to do, we need is number three and number two. There's number three. And number two is just there. So we're going to slip those two pieces off. Slip it there. I'm looking at stupid pins there. There's a hole in the back of this one, and there's a pin now. I was looking for a pin down on the, sh the shin part, but it's at the bottom knee. So I'm going to slip those two off, glue those together, clear those then glue those together, come back to you for the next pieces. Right, so now we need number one, which is this front body part, and number four, which is the head. And number four goes in the top there, the same as all the others, except that he goes in, this is the back of the model. Okay. So when he goes in, as you can see, his pin goes in. Oh, he says his face is face, uh, front in, facing towards the, the, the front of this. So slip those two pieces off, clean them down, and uh, glue that in, and then come back and show how the leg goes on. Right, so this leg starts in there, like so. Okay. And if you look at the instructions, it will show you the back, the, the back view of here. Okay. It literally just slots in like that. It's that simple. So I'm going to glue that into place and then we'll come back for the next piece. Right, so the next piece that we need is number five, which is the back piece of him. I'm going to snip it, clean it. He has the big, the big uh, pin. Well, also the big hole, and there's a big pin on that one. The inside so they just slots into each other. Our next piece we need is number seven. No, yeah, number seven and number six. Again, that's a shin guard that goes across there. There's a hole in the back of that one, goes into the pin there. I'm going to slip them down, clean down, and show you how it goes on the model. Right, this is so straightforward. This slots into there like so okay I need to clean the gun pouch properly so I missed that bit of the gun pouch so I've got a sprue I clean that off and glue that in and come back to the next there's only a few pieces left on this guy right the next one we need is number 10 and number 11 that you can already see in the same shape so number 11 We'll slot into number 10. Okay. Um, I'll clip them off, show them that, clip, clip them off, clean them down, and show you how they go together because they, they do click into the arm as well. Right, so I've sort of messed up a little bit. I glued the canister together, and as I did that, the little, the little keypad slides straight into the hole in his wrist. That's where it's meant to go. But I was going to show you guys how it goes on, but it just went on. So the piece that we need now, eventually, is his backpack now that little piece there i think the pipe from his little canister goes into that piece there so don't don't snip that off when you're cleaning down anything else and his arm now this arm can only go one side so i'm going to snip both of these off clean them down glue the backpacks on and then i'll glue this piece on like i said 
yeah see the hole in the pin so that should slot into there when it's on that, oh, that side of his, his body I don't need to show you that put the backpack on the space ring you've seen that before but that is a nice that is a nice backpack anyway even his shoulder folder on there is absolutely fantastic the weapon is just amazing now I'm going to clip those two, those pieces off and glue them onto the model glue his base which again is absolutely fantastic again his base has like the previous guy two two round pins to go in hexagon slots but anyway it doesn't matter they go in okay and then the other side then there's two holes you see one foot and you see the heel of another foot when we look at his feet Yeah, just so it goes on. So anyway, I'm going to glue all those together, glue them to the base and glue him into the base itself. And then we'll come back to you then for the next unit. Before I go to the next unit, I'll just give you a quick sneaky peek. Let's see the top of the blades up. A bit of sprue. It's so hard to get off there because it's not very... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bit of plastic glue. Casting and not happy with. Again, that's hard to get into because of the way that these little cut instruments are. But that that plastic will not done those little two little little bits that I missed. But I think that's fantastic. That's absolutely amazing. Jimmy, I'm not miss paint because I'm not very good at painting. I don't well. I'm not I'm good at painting well. I just don't. It's just a pain in the backside, as everyone knows. But anyway, on to the next unit. Right, so now I'm going to do the Inferno squad. I was looking forward to this, but this is the, the unit out of the box I'm least looking forward to building. But with how the Stern Guard have been to build and uh, the Terminators, I think this is going to be a doddle. The only difference is there's 10 of them. But looking through the instructions, there's a lot of them that are the same. And then when I examined the sprues, there's two sprues identical. So one sprue, uh, there's two, there's two sergeant models, because it should be in the space squad anyway, but um, when you separate those two five-man squads, you've got sergeant for each one. But um, well, if you want to, if you want to field with a five-man squad, you've got sergeant. One sergeant has, what's that, plasma pistol? And, uh, 36, let's have a look see what it is. Oh no, it's a bolt pistol, sorry, there it is. Bolt pistol. And uh, he's pulling out a blade from, from his waistline. It's very nice. But anyway, I'm going to start with one. I build one, one of the sergeant models, and then I build the other sergeant model. Because all the other guys, there's the instructions to build one, but it says times two. So it's one from this sprue, one from the other sprue. So... First piece needed is number 35 and 31. Right, so there's number 31 in that corner there, the chest piece. Number 35 is the piece there. So I'm going to stiff them, clean them, and I'll show you how they go together. Right, these guys are a little bit nuts to build. I do see that from the first model. So let's put a bit of glue in that hole there. Okay. There's a pin coming up this side and a bit of glue in that hole that side. Yeah, where I've done it. There's this arm. It's coming over the top there. And you put the pin in. It's very difficult for this piece, very fiddly. That's why you only have one. Come on, you got just got you in a minute ago. It goes in something like that. I'm going to go off camera because I'm going to go off camera. It's going to go nicely. It's going to fit in perfect. And there we go. So you're not supposed to be like that. Yeah. So I'll show you the back end. That's the hole it goes into. But you got to come in from an angle to pull it in. So the next 
piece that's needed. No, sorry, no, yeah, that's right. Um, a little confusing because I was looking and thinking, oh, hold on, no, hold on. But no, it is right. Um, number 26 is what we need next. Number 26, where the hell are you? 27. Looking for 26, there's 27. Okay. So we've just taken from there and from there. 27 is here. 27 and 28. Or well, there's 28. Okay. And the head is number 34. Which is just there. So I'm going to snip all three of those pieces off. Clean them down. And I'll come back and show you how they'll go together. This is one of those about me knocking the camera, weird ones. Where the helmet slots into this there. Okay, that gives you the head view. That then, chuck a bit of glue in there. That then slots into this one at the bottom here. Which then puts the helmet head in the right place. Yeah, it's really weird. Then what happens is <laughs> let's get some glue in this piece first. This is the chest piece we piece we started with. So we'll some glue along the edge. There's this piece. And slots in the way. Get the, the hold of it up. Right, drop in the man. Holy shit. He slides in there like so. So now we have the arm lined up, the arm nice, the head nice. And that's, that's nuts because I'm dreading doing these guys. Not too sure about the head. Okay, I've given a sand down. You can see that I've given a sand down. It just doesn't look. I'll leave it for a little while and just try and clear about later on. So this it looks nuts to build, but there's a few pieces and this guy's basically done. All I need now is number thirty six, which is this one here, blown bob pistol, was looking at the beginning, and number thirty three, which is this backpack, backpack here. So I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, glue those on. These guys go on a 32 millimeter base. Now again, you've got the, the chart at the front of the book to look at and measure up to, but I have walked down who's on a 32 mm base, so I just line it up that way, so I know it's the right one. The shouldn't the only base that there now is a 28 mils and the 32 mils. So it should be, you should be able to, well, I should be able to see the difference. Anyway, so they'll put these together come back to you again after. So, the first one down. Nine more of these guys to go. But I actually, with the eagle eyes of you, go, hold on. That's not how his arm's supposed to be. His arm's supposed to be swinging downwards. I repositioned it by chipping the, clipping the, the pin down a bit. I did show you guys that earlier on, but that's just customising it a little bit. The next time, you're going to get another squad of these guys. Let's presume they're all the same sort of way. I don't see why they wouldn't be. I would then tr uh, snip the pin down a different way and have the arm up in the air or something. Or just a totally different way, different pose. So now on to the next guy. Right, so then the next, for the next guy we need um, is number 30, which is this one here. Okay. But here's where it gets a little bit confusing we need that one okay then on the other sprue because this is the same this is the other sergeant type model um you use them as normal guy or use them as sergeant if you're having two five minute teams whatever like i said then we need number 31 which is where which is down here so we take that 31 yeah which is a body piece and number 30 
If I snip those up, I'll snip those up, clean those down, and I'll show you how they go together. Right, again, so this one goes in the same as the first one. There's some glue on the left side there. And this arm comes into there. Need to off it a little bit. There we go. That's in. Nice. All I need is a handle, it's a bit bandy to me. Just have a little sand down in a couple of minutes. So, where we just took number 31 from, that sprue, we're back to this sprue. We need number 28, which is this one, which is the same as the first guy, yeah? So I'll take that off and clean that down. We need number 29, which is a little head. Which is there. So I'll take that, and I'll take 28. I'm going to clean those down. I'll, show you. I'll give you a quick show how they go together. Exactly like the first guy. These guys are pretty much identical apart from the, the few different parts that they used. It goes in there. Yeah, the top hole. Um, what we need now is number 27, which I'm going to take from, yeah, I take it from the secondary sprue because both of those guys, first guy and this guy, you both use the same 27. So snip clean glue, or snip clean. So yeah, it goes together, it's the same as the first guy, but I'll just I'll give you a quick reminder. Right, so there's a pin there. A drop of glue in there, and I put a little drop of glue in that little neck piece there. Goes that goes in there, and the head goes in there. So that's that's that. Then the first piece that we did, same as the first piece. First guy, there's one hole there, there's a hole there, there's a pin there. Sorry, that just glues into the place. Right, so the last two pieces of this guy are number 32, which is him throwing the grenade, and his backpack number 33. I don't need to show you where that goes, you, you all know that by now. And that, this grenade arm, goes in that pin. So it's not, it's not difficult. I'm going to clip them off, clean them down, glue them into place, glue him into his base, glue him into his base, and that's him done. And then I move on to the next guy. Oh, so he's done. Nice. The next guy, I don't want to confuse you now, so anyone that's new, you know, veterans will know, but anyone that's new, but I'll repeat this again. This sprue and this sprue are identical. Okay? So the next guy that we make, say we use this sprue. You use the same parts to make this guy from this sprue, that are on this sprue, and you make two guys. Okay, so that's how the rest of the squad is structured. So we'll make, when we're making four guys from this sprue, and the same numbers, the same parts used, make the same guys from this one. Okay? So the next pieces that we need are number three, which is this piece here, and number two, which is the head. So where are we? Number two, there we are. So I'm going to snip and clean them, clean them down and glue them together. I don't need to see how it goes on because the head goes in that hole there. So as you can see, I have two of the same bodies down, same heads in. So instead of doing each one off on one sprue, then go to the next sprue and do the same thing. I've taken off both bodies, one from one sprue, one from the other. Both heads, one from one sprue, one from the other. I just do them as I go along. So straight away, I'm gonna when I've done when I've finished building these two guys, there's gonna be four guys built. It's very that's the easiest way of doing it. Anyway, the next one we need is number one, which is gonna be difficult. It's always difficult to find something number. Oh, there we are. Number one. I have to say it, and then I'll just see it straight away. It's this back piece. I'm gonna snip it, clean it. I don't need to show you how it goes on. It's very simple. One pin, one hole, one pin. 
Let's cross the back there. Now this is where it starts getting really easy. So this guy has four and five and number six backpack. Don't you show where the arms go, it's plain straightforward. Backpack the same and then it goes in the base. Obviously that's his hand there and that, that connects into it. Okay, because that's a thumb. That's that's a thumb, and the rest of the hand just slots into there. See the, see all the knuckles along the top there? And that's it. That's, that's taking the three off of this sprue, cleaning them down, three from the other sprue, cleaning them down, and gluing them together, gluing them to the base, and then move on to the next guy. Right, so for the next guy, this is very straightforward. I'm not even going to show you how it goes together, because it goes together the same as the first. But you know it doesn't go the same. Okay, so we need number 14 which is this head here we need number 15 okay now again it goes the head goes slot goes into there which positions the head perfectly up there then we need number 16 which is a back piece which is this piece here in the corner which goes on the back of that then he has 17 and 18 what is 18 his hand um there's 17 his gun and then his backpack 19 okay so I don't, I'm not going to build that guy on camera that's where those pieces are but where they are on here is the same way on the other sprue so I'm going to put these this guy together and the other guy from the other sprue and I come out for the last guy because the last guy is a little bit different well I said I said there's one more to build there isn't there's 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 four models to build but there's two sets of two I actually Instead of doing the top instruction, the model, I went to the next one down and did that one. My bad. So, what we need now is 11, which is this piece here, and 10. Okay, now obviously 10 has a funny little hook there. That slots into the middle one there. The bottom one, so I say. Um, then we have, actually there's a few bits here. I'm going to sit those two pieces off and glue them together. And come back to the next piece. There's a few bits that go together in a different sort of way. That's the next piece we need. It's number seven, which is this head here. Number nine, which is this gun. And number eight, which is this body part here. So I'm going to snip all three of those pieces off, clean them down, I'll show you how they go together. Now, so like with the other ones, the top one gets glue in it, and the pin goes in there. So I find this one a little bit difficult to get in. I had to use my organized scraper just to push it in because it kept wanting to be a bit difficult. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then, put a little bit of glue on this bad boy. Because this gun arm, number nine, there's a hole in there, there's a pin. It just slides in there like so okay then what happens is these body pieces then go onto the body yeah so there's a pin there's a hole it just literally goes in there so I'm going to glue those together and then come up for the next piece right this guy is pin was too long for me, would not go in. Um, it would go in one side, but be loose the other side. So what I've done is I snipped it down a little bit. And you see how easy it goes in now. Just line it up. Don't drop in the piece, of course. Happy hands today. It's hard trying to get this angle on camera. You guys to see just slide in okay now I don't know what's coming up I don't know if the if I was coming at the wrong angle angle with the rod uh, with the pin and trying to put it in or if it's just it was a bit too long but there let's see there's two of them there that's literally how much how much I slipped up of each one okay not very much but enough to make a notice then what I'm going to do is just fill that little gap and the little gap at the top. 
Make sure the arm's in properly. There's the other guy. Let's have a look at the cap at the top. Right, so the next piece needed is uh, where are we? number 12, which is this arm here. Again, I don't need to show you where that goes because it goes on the other side, connects to the gun, because there's, there's this little thumb. Focuses in, and there's this little back of his wrist. And I believe it's number 13 backpack. Again, I don't need to show you that, so I'm going to stick those two pieces up, clean them down, and glue them on. And then glue them into their base, and then we'll move on to the last guy. And so, our last guy is all these pieces here. Okay, so we have backpack 26, we have front body part 21, we have gun arm 24, supporting arm number 25, 23 is the back of the body, and 22 is the legs, and 20 is the head. So, we're going to start with 22 and 23, which is the, the leg and the back of the body. Right, so 23. Some, some glue in the bottom part there. There's a pin. The pin goes in there. Like so. Okay. See the pin in the bottom there? Goes in that little gap. So we've got a little. That's a bit weird because it's not fitted properly. It's a horrible gap there. Maybe. Oh, yeah, when the front of the body goes on, it pushes it all together. So what I'm going to do is. Just want a bit of plastic glue along that join line, just to give it a bit more support. Right, um, then the next pieces that we need are 21, which is the front body part, and number 20, the head, goes in the same as the others, straight into the top hole there. So I'm going to slip those, clean them down, glue them together, and I don't need to show you that. Right, so you know where we are now. This pin hole here, and the pin on the inside there, that goes together to make the body. I'm going to glue them together. I'll show you where the weapon. Well, I don't show you where the weapons are. You know, to put the weapon arm on and the, and the backpack on. That's that's it to finish these guys off. So I'm going to do those last piece off camera and come back for the next guy. And so you now we're going to build the uh, librarian in turn armor. I've been looking forward to this model. The sculpt on it is absolutely, I love the sculpt on it. I absolutely love it. I love all the canic runes written across his body and just, oh, look at that. Absolutely, the, the, the excitement to build this guy and get this guy painted up is just, well. Anyway, to start with, we need number five, which is his little head. We need, uh, no, sorry, no, we don't. We're going to stop there. We don't need that first of all. We need number one, which is this piece, and number three, which is his leg. We're going to sit room clean them and show you how they go. Right. So there's one of those hook legs. We know how this goes in. There's a hole in the back there that just slots in there, which is the base for his legs. The next piece that we need then is number five, his head, and we need number four and number five, sorry, number two, number two, five, and four. Number two is a little shin guard here. This number two goes on this side of the model, number four goes on the other side, and the head, well, you know where the head goes. There is a pin, actually, back of the head. There's a hole there, it goes straight through there. So I'm going to slip those off. Um, again, you know the shin guards from the terminators. There's a pin on there, so it goes in there. I'm going to slip those all off, clean those down, and glue those into place. Right, next two bits that we need are number six, which is this piece, and number seven, which is this amazing chest piece here. So I'm going to slip those down, clean those down, and show you how they go. But the way these crazy pieces go together, this goes in there, okay, the best way to line it up is his little book, goes on the side there, it all connects the belt up, 
yeah, and hides that horrible gap underneath. Okay, and there's a pin in there, and there's a hole on there, and that's that slots over the front into the into the uh, into the pin. So I'm going to glue that together and then come back to you for the next piece. And the instruction is not very clear, but that's the best way to put it. I'll put it on first because that lines up at the top. Yeah, and it puts the pin in place then. So then all you have to do is come in with this bad boy. And there we go. Nice and easy. I still need to get that bit there. Don't worry about the piece there because we put the arm on it so to cover it up. So anyway. Right, so the next piece is number eight, number ten, and number nine. Okay, so I'm going to slip those off, clean those down, show you how they go together. Right, so the way this goes together, number 10 is the hand. There's a hole in the hand. There's a pin at the bottom of his gun. That slots in there like that. And then there's a pin that side. And number 9 is for his storm bower. There's a hole and it goes on the top there. So I'm going to glue that in together. And then his arm goes, obviously... On this side of him so i'm going to glue all that in and come back to the next piece right next two pieces we need is number 11 and number 12 which is his axe and this this shoulder pad with a skull on it the other shoulder pad's plain so i'm going to so we need these two I'll snip and clean them show you where they go all right so this shoulder pad there's a hole there's a pin it goes on there and this axe there's a hole, there's a pin, that slots on there, it connects in there. Okay, so I'm going to glue them into place and then come back for the last for the last piece of shoulder pad that goes on there. So I glue the last shoulder pad on and then I glue them to his base and there's one little bit to come to the base as well which I'll show you. Right, there's one of these little things that goes into the base. Um, it's number 14. So when you clear the front of the sprue, that's the only thing that's left. But you glue this into base first, yeah? It's a hexagon pin. And it's a base there. It's a skull because his foot goes this side. So I'm going to glue him in now so you can see what I mean. His pin goes in like so. I'm gonna push in. I actually put the skull the wrong way around. Doesn't matter. Still looks good. Let's glue shoulder pad on, and he's done. On to the last guy, the dreadnought. <clears throat> now it's time for the last guy, the ballistas dreadnought. That's yes, a lovely sprue, actually. I don't think it's going to be like this, but I hope when they actually release this as a single miniature for the box by itself, I hope it's like this. Because it's so easy. Actually, if this is in like the Command Edition or the Elite Edition of the Wham 40k box game, and they finally give us the nod of what they're putting on there, that will sell out like so fast. But anyway, so the first pieces we need are. Number nine and number eight. So I'm going to snip, clean, and show you how they go together. I'll show these first two pieces. There's two pins, two holes. You can see they'll cover the top. I'm not going to put it in because I want to glue it in, but that's how it goes in, okay? So I'm going to glue that, come back for the next piece. My right, next two pieces are 10 and 11. I'm going to stick clean, show you how they go together. Right, so this is a little bit, I guess, a little bit complicated. Not, it's not over complicated, but it's just a little bit. So that's the front of the dreadnought, okay? Now, you've got one leg, and you've got the other side of the leg, okay? That's the back, that's the front. The front one has a purity on it. So what you want to do, this little hole at the top, in there okay and it connects like that 
So this little pipe here goes on the outside, okay? And then with that pipe in the top hole there, you've got a pin. You've got that's that's that's, that's the one that same one goes on top there. You've got a pin that goes into there. You've got a hole with a pin that goes into there. Okay. So I'm gonna glue those together and cover it in for the next next species. So what we have then is something like this. Now you can see that little sprue there. I have to get it off before I go any further. I just probably need a little screw on the sand down. But then, okay, but the next two pieces needed <clears throat> are 12 and 13, the other leg. Now this goes on exactly the same way, but the other side. This being the front piece, okay, this being the back piece. So I'm going to clip those down, glue those on, and we'll come back for the next pieces piece of this guy. That's the next pieces that we need then. And number 14, which is this foot. And number 15, which is this foot. So I'm going to sniff them, clean them, show you how they go on. Right, so here's, here's what we do. So that's the front of the foot. Okay, that's a big toe if you like. So the first thing what you need to do, try and, try and glue it to, to the model. What you want to do is you want a little bit of glue around each foot, foot pad. And then around this little the pipe. Or the rod, shall I say. And that goes. Doesn't matter what side. What side do that side? Is smaller? Yeah, do that side. Yeah, that goes into place. Now, what I always do is just run a little bit of plastic glue along the edge. Just seals it in nicely do the same thing for this side around the edge of it Is that meant to be hanging over or not? No, it's not. It goes in there as well. Now what we do, these two holes, I knew it wasn't right. Let's try a different way then. <laughs> oh, John messed up. Oh no. <laughs> right, so let's try it this way. I thought I was being clever there by doing it that way. So one foot goes in there. Yeah. One foot goes in there. Why did it? Oh, because it's a slight angle, that's why you're Wally. I've blessed it in space. So maybe it is that way around. The reason I went the other way around in the first place is because I thought there was very little space. Um, very little space on the front of the base. But there's plenty of space. And now what I do is I run plastic glue around the, the base of it. Just to seed it up. That's a, that's a nice detail in this model. For a model, for a plain model, that is some nice detail on that base already. And what I might do with this base is just get some um, some odd tyrannid bits and just pile up, pile them here and there just to add different colour to the base and different more stuff to the base. But anyway, the next piece that we need is number two yeah which is space and number three so i'm going to stiff and clean them show you how they go on right this is a very easy part 
and like me basing him into the base. Oh, my goodness, uh, that's the back of him. That's the front of him. You see this funny little thing here? Okay, let me just adjust the camera slightly. All right, so this slides in there. Okay, there's two holes, two holes, got two rods, two rods. Again, that slides in the same way the bottom there. And that joins into all right there. Okay, obviously it goes in, it goes in a little bit tighter than that, but I'm going to glue it into place and then come back for the next piece. The next piece we need is number one, which is this front chassis. I'm going to slip that off, clean it down, show you how it goes on. Right, this piece is very simple. You've got these two strips here aside. They slide into there. So it literally goes over the front like that. Okay. So I'm going to glue that on and then come back for the next piece. Right, so the next piece is needed. And number four and number five. Number four goes this side. Number five goes this side. So when I slip them off, I'm going to put them either side so I don't get confused. Right, so this is very straightforward. You have a little hole there and a sort of semi-circle. Do the same thing here. So that literally glues. So you can probably put it in there, but I'd glue it in. Okay. Right, this one goes that side, the other one goes to the other side. I'm going to glue it into place and show you the next pieces. The next pieces are six and seven. Yeah. Number seven has a purity seal. And that's for this side. So I'm going to slip them off, clean them down, and show you how they go on. Now right, this is very, very straightforward. I'm just going to whack some glue on to show you how easy it is. Pin, hole. Oh. So it's not be easy when the camera's rolling. Yet on there. That is how easy it is. Now I just have to fill up the little join line there. See that horrible join line? But I'll glue the other side on. And then uh take it for the next piece. Simple as that. Right, so the bits we need now are number 17, which is this piece here, and number 18. We're going to snip them off, clean them down, and show you how they go together. Right, these go together nice and easy. There's two holes, two pins. Yeah, you can see that little knob a bit there. You can see there's a half loose that goes together. Same on the other side. Okay, the wire has to be at the bottom. So I'm going to glue them into place and come back for the next piece. So here's what we have. Yeah. So the next piece needed is number 16 and number 19. So I'm going to snip those up, clean those down and show you how they go together. Right, this is very straightforward. So that's the front of the, the weapon. Okay, with the little light up there. The back has doesn't have a light, has that bit. But when you look at it, this is going on this side of the model. Yeah. So this is the front. The missile pods, pin, hole, that glues in. But as you can see, there's a little tiny hole there. For that little knobble to go in. That little knobble to go into. Okay. And it's the same on the back. So I think I've taken that. I took the bottom one off. <laughs> but anyway, there's a little that goes in there, that goes in there. I'm going to glue them into place and come back to the final two pieces. Right, my bad. Before I show you how the last two pieces, show you how this piece goes on. So, we have this weird shape. We have that weird shape. So they can move. Now you can glue it into place so you can leave it the way it is. It's pretty... You have to really, which I don't like that, I'm going to actually glue mine into place. I'm just thinking that when I'm painting it and stuff. Straight 
board. Push that in. Turn it into the position that you want. I mean, that's a cool position. Looks like he's getting ready to fire a volley. Right, so the last two pieces that we need are number 21 and 20. Or 20 and 21. So I'm going to snip down these down, clean these down, and show you how they go together. That's very straightforward. Two holes, two pins, close together. Okay. Now, be careful with this. I took the poop seals off by accident, didn't realise they were there. So, what I'm going to do is, there's no panic for me because I've got pewter seals everywhere on different sprues. I've even got some, some bits of stuff I can just tug it up with. So, I'm going to clean that off. Okay. But I messed it up. So, I'm going to clean that off and then come back and show you, and glue these two bits together and come back and show you how they go on. Right, and this piece goes on the same way. So it goes in the funny shape, in the funny hole. Goes in and you can just adjust it which way you want. Yeah. I don't know why. Down a little bit. Hold up a little bit. I think that's fine. I cleared that off. So stupid of me. Anyway, that is this box finished. I'm actually delighted myself because usually I would take a box and I'd do this unit, then I'd do that unit, and then this unit. And, and I think this way of doing it, all right, it's a bit of a long slog, but now I have models <laughs> built. Um, and the vote for you guys has got even harder now because there's so many great things here to, to add into the vote. So what do I think is the the, the best build, the, the worst build, my favourite, my worst, etc. Um, I don't know, I, I enjoyed this, apart from the pewter cells that I messed up on. I enjoyed this guy. But I, what I saw, I saw something on TikTok actually, really, really clever. Someone took the Ravenwing Command Group Ancients banner, put, on, put it on him. And swapped the head out for a Deathwing Knight. So it made him a, a Deathwing Taskmaster. And I was like, what? I should have done that. But anyway, this, I, I do enjoy that guy. I think the Terminators are pretty good. And the Infernus Marines, they were the ones that I was least looking forward to building. But um, they actually went together pretty quickly. The Veteran Stern Guard, or the Stern Guard, whatever they are. Again, they weren't my favourites to build, but they went together pretty easy. I like him, I like the, the captain, and I do like this guy. I didn't see him, sorry. The librarian, I do like him as well. Um, I don't know, it's... I think they're pretty cool. Even the Terminus, actually all of the space marines are pretty cool. Even this clown. I'm not looking forward to painting this guy, because I know he's white armour, but... The lieutenant, the, the lieutenant was pretty good as well. I can't say what's the worst build. I had the space for me because I actually enjoyed all of them. The ones that I thought I wouldn't enjoy and I wasn't looking forward to actually went together pretty easy. But yeah, this is a good box. I'm glad it's finished. I know I, I still have some terminals to do, but apart from that, that's that's pretty straightforward. So guys, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing, and it helps the channel grow in a massive, massive way. Uh, turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. But all my regulars here that watch every video and comment all the video, guys, I love you so much. You, you help the channel grow so, so much, and it means a hell of a lot to me. Guys, everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more people. So for all you guys, thank you very much. Hit the buttons. And I'll see you next time.